He is the challenger. He is from the other side of your mind. He is the enigma, Lucio Devere. 19 year veteran, very, very dangerous in that ring. His opponent, he is the current reigning and defending Imagine Live champion. He is from New York, New York. He is gorgeous, Gregory. As if I thought I couldn't hate Jimmy the Hippie even more. Well done, well done, man. I mean, how unclassy are you? How unclassy? Hey, we're a couple of uh, Central PA boys, man. We like our meat cooked. Yeah, he wouldn't know anything about a steak or anything else that represents what a man is. He wouldn't have to toss the caber or uh, smoke a cigar either. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> well, uh, he's only 18. He can't even buy a cigar. <laughs> it's ironic to think about, though. You know, Lucio DeVere has been at this 19 years. Uh, Gorgeous Gregory is only 18 years old. Yes, yes. Lucio DeVere was tying up the wrestling boots when uh, Gorgeous Gregory was nothing more than a twinkle in someone's eye. But we're going to see how well that uh, experience serves him here. Gorgeous Gregory, as much as I don't like the guy, uh, a top performer here in Imagine Wrestling. You can't disagree with his record. He is the Imagine Live Dojo champion for a reason. Um, and he takes so long to take his robe off. It's just, I mean, this is exhausting. Two unlikable guys. Two unlikable guys, no doubt about it. As much as I don't, ah, sweetheart. I feel like at some point I'll be glad to see somebody knock this guy's block off. Ring the bell! Really like the job that Mike Zeke did in the the opening match here. He really took good control, and I, I I'm this is an even stiffer assignment. You got two guys who really like to break the rules here, so I'd be curious to see how well he manages when you got two guys of the same sort of ilk. Well, Mike Zeke's another guy with a lot of experience at this. He's uh, done a great job here at keeping things under control more in these Imagine Dojo matches. Does indeed. Has been refereeing. Uh, refereed his first match when he was 16 years old. Yes. Uh, that was uh, half of his lifetime ago. Yeah. how long he's been doing this, so. I mean, I'm cur curious now. What kind of what a cut of steak? I mean, he does the medium, medium rare. Did he say or medium well? Yeah, I just got a visual of him wearing that awful sequin suit inside a Waffle House or something. I can't imagine the places he's frequenting. See, back to the corner here. Referee Mike Zeke calling for a break. Way well, he talks about it, though, it's hard to imagine he's showing up at a Waffle House. But man, <laughs> I know. Uh, I had Waffle House for the first time in Tennessee just a few years ago, to be honest. Kind of a kind of an interesting environment, and I think honestly, I think I'll have a better meal when I go to Station 101. Just my opinion. Yeah, I, I guarantee you will. Side headlock here applied by Gordon Gregory. Lucio Devere comes up with one of his own. Clearly, uh, Lucio Devere's been putting on some size lately. Um, Trying to build some extra muscle going into this fight with Big Lenny. Certainly been finding the tanning bed as well. What a, what a, good what a, what a cheap shot. Yeah, I mean, that's all I think we feel like we've seen to this point is cheap shot. Whoa! Oh, that looked like it was right in the face. Kick him low in the stomach. We're going to see that gourd buster right here. I got a feeling. Got him right in the face and jaw, not able to turn his head. Planted him on the nose, perhaps even. Still able to kick out is gorgeous Gregory. Beautifully done here. Uh, Lucio here, always more of a brawler. Uh, as you can see right here, he's going to be perfectly at home and the fans bring the weapons match. Not the first one Lucio DeVere's ever fought in. Oh, good God. Good God. Chopped him in half with that knife edge style Making that, chop. that chest of Lucio DeVere medium rare like Greg likes his steak. Man, oh man. Oh, big what kick. A, what a pump, pump style kick. kick. Lucio DeVere looking real aggressive. We're just Gregory trying to gain some composure here. Shoves off Lucio DeVere. 
Oh, rebound. flapjack caught him under the ribs. May have knocked the wind out of him. Almost like a hot shot, Eddie Gilbert style, on the ropes. Absolutely. I thought he was setting him up for that flapjack. Just took an extra step backwards and dropped him hard. Stunning Steve, a young man named Stunning Steve Austin, won many a match with that exact same style stun gun. Absolutely. And here he goes again. It truly is. He's, he's As Malachi Gates says, it's a joke. I'll tell you what, he is, uh, again, picked out a body part. He's, he decided to work over that abdomen, uh, cut the window. Oh, here comes Malachi Gage. Interesting uh, development here. Carries him back over. Aside from the presence of Malachi Gage, what I'm seeing here is uh, Gorgeous Gregory, very nice ring awareness to drop that man on the top rope. I once again disagree with the way he applies that ring awareness and what, what the outcome was, but very aware of where he was inside that squared circle. I've, I've mentioned this before. You know, I've made fun of him. I've called him a, a gorgeous idiot. But the reality is the in-ring IQ is very high on this gorgeous Gregory. And as such, the sky is the limit for him. I mean, yeah. there's really no limit to how far this guy can go if he could find a way to keep that ego and attitude in check. Yeah, he's light years uh, behind, uh, beyond his age as far as skill level. But uh, that ego, if there's one thing better than his skill and bigger than his skill, it's his ego. He never shuts up, and no one is more into themselves than Gorgeous Gregory. That's a 100% true statement. Such a big frame, such a level of confidence and balance you know if i hadn't seen with my own eyes the the uh the identification you'd never believe this kid's only 18 years old and in a lot of ways he's he's right oh he is lighting him up he really is a generational talent uh it's hard to argue that but he also, he calls himself a once-in-a-lifetime athlete, but he's a once-in-a-lifetime ego on top of that. Absolutely. He may have one of the biggest egos I've witnessed in pro wrestling. That's covering a lot <laughs> of ground. a lot of ground. Big line. Lucio sets him up for that second line. Not able to catch it. And again, drops him on his guts. Gregory finding that flapjack a second time. Two count only. That very well could have been it. Beautifully executed again with that flapjack. We're going to see if that extra bit of size, that that mass that Lucio has cultivated lately is going to serve him well on this uh, varied abdominal attack. Second week of bear hugs here as we see the side rear bear hug applied there on the mat. No doubt about it. A varied offense for a long time when Gorgeous Gregory was trying to wear a guy down. He was going to that top wrist lock. He's expanded a bit, and uh, right now it seems to be working for him, this this trying to take the breath away. It's hard to get a breath. If you have somebody in a deep, deep bear hug like that, it is hard to get a breath. And where it's it, difficult to win a match like that, what it will do is cut down the oxygen level and make it much harder for a guy to rally and fight back. Absolutely, and the constriction becomes too much that uh, Lucio Devere has to go for a bottom rope break there. It's Gregory curious. a little reluctant to break the hold. It's curious, uh, you know, Malachi Gage had mentioned earlier, he was coming out here, he wanted to see uh, this up close. He wanted to scout this, I assume, just as you've done the last few weeks. And, uh, man, I'll tell you what, he's getting an eyeful of Gorgeous Gregory because it's been almost all offense in this match from Gorgeous Gregory. Absolutely. Whoa. Lucio DeVere's mohawk starting to get a little floppy. He it's is crushing his throat with that line in the corner. Mike Zeke letting him go. Should be on the count here and then him up in that corner like that. Wow! Another one of those vicious clotheslines we've been seeing all night here. There are few places in the world where you see clotheslines like you do right here in the Imagine Dojo. That is the hallmark of Imagine Dojo. Make sure if you're interested in becoming a professional wrestler, this is the premier training center in central Pennsylvania for uh, pro wrestling. Reach out and to beyond. Imagine Wrestling. Tell you what, this is... Uh, this is quite a dominating performance to this point from Gorgeous Gregory. He looks primed and ready uh, for this big heavyweight title match coming up on March 4th. Oh, I'm more than ready, sweetheart. I'm more than ready. Why does he keep calling me that? 
I, he just finds ways to be more and more unlikable. Mm. You love it so much. Everybody loves when I call him sweetheart. All the ladies do. All the ladies do. Why would you be no different? I don't like it. It's like I said earlier, I don't feel like I have to beat this man. Or I feel, don't feel like I want to beat this man. I have to beat this man. I have to hurt Gorgeous Gregory. Uh, he's, he's ran his mouth long enough. I think there might be a pile driver in store. It's the only uh, uh, wrestling, like this. The only wrestling program I've ever witnessed where the uh, the play by play announcing waits for him to stop talking. I mean, I mean, he's mesmerizing. You want to just hear him and then walk in and punch him in the face. Yeah, like like, like he talks and you want to punch him. Oh, gets goozled. Oh, not enough. I thought Lucio was building a rally. That's it, man. Oh man, talk about. A dominating performance at a gorgeous Gregory tonight. Not going for a cover. It's really a joke. It's really a joke. Oh, look, he got face paint all over the ring. I know you won't get face paint all over the ring, but you may get your teeth all over the ring, Jimmy. You may get your teeth, and you may get pieces of your nose. <laughs> that big old nose. See, I got a big chin. I got a big chin. You got a big nose. You want to make fun of me? And, and you, Malachi, with your stupid hammer and your red hair, look at what I just did to your daddy with your little bull ring. Your bull ring, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're a joke too. The joke's on you whenever I spike your head into the mat. <laughs> All right, get him down, get him down. Jimmy, where you going, man? He got spiked. Good God. What just happened? Oh my God, we got a new Imagine Live champion. We have a new. Ch what did I just see? We have a new Imagine Live champion just like that. Gorgeous Gregory ran his mouth just a little bit too long. Give that murder right. Tell you what, this may be trouble for Gorgeous Gregory. He laid the both of them out last week, and now it looks like the two of them are going to get the last laugh on Gorgeous Gregory. Murder ride! Wow, look at these two working together. It could be trouble. But what? Oh, side effect! The veteran calls his shot. Dominating performance. One man stands tall over the two upstarts. What a 